I think it needs a trail tune. That's what I think needs to happen. Yo, what do you what do you about to pull out of this truck? Well, first thing I gotta grab Jesse's board out. XR. Then I gotta leave that G. We'll just go ahead and leave that GT in there. Let's we'll yeah. go ahead and leave that guy in there. No one's gonna want to ride that. Yeah, the, uh, the old Varials XR. We're gonna go ahead and leave that one in there today. But today, we're gonna pull out this bad boy. Ooh. Yeah, this is what the is that? Oh, she's jammed in there. Oh, this guy right here. This is what the is real story, that? Jesse. Right Wait a minute. Here. That's a funny looking power button. What's going on there? We got a vest today, baby. So we're gonna take this guy down some trails, see how he rides in Tahoe. Good, bad, mids. I don't know, we're gonna find out. I've just been riding it in the street for like the last three, four days. Really liking it for that, but I don't know how it's gonna be on the trail. We're gonna find out today. Let's go. All right, so it is uphill the start of this trail, real, real chunky. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get a little bit more nose on this thing right now. Connect, we're gonna adjust the nose angle up a little bit because right now we're at 4.20 on the nose, which is pretty tight. Uh, so that replicates the tilt, but um, it gives it a little bit more. But I'm also riding a really loose setting on this because I like it loose and flowy. So we're gonna give it a little, just a touch more nose and we'll be good. All right, let's see if she climbs a little better through this chunk. Oh yeah, that's noticeable. That was way better. Yeah, super easy to just flip it up. It was uh, gripping and ripping now. You just had to get that nose out of the ground a little bit. But now that we're all in downhill stuff, I think it's time to bring the nose back down a little bit and uh, really get after it. Boom, right back to 4.20. The best for dubs, for sure. All right, should we get it? Oh, there's a chunk on that one I didn't see. All right, let's try again. All right. Yeah, tail drag's a little heavy still. Yeah, baby. We donated some blood this time. <laughs> it's tough to keep the nose out of the ground. It's definitely looping out on the heavy, heavy, heavy tail drags, but it's fun through the chunk. Like it's not doing the nose hunting into the chunk is like it used to, which is really nice. But whoo, this baby's exciting. It's riveting. <laughs> let me get out. Let me get on. Tilt 
bit to the right. There you go. I mean, it's not feeling perfect. Um, what I'm what I'm noticing is it's tough to get the nose up going into the super steep uphill stuff to maintain speed without losing all your speed, right? Mm. So it'd be nice if it had like a saggier back end right at the very, like right when you're starting to get into it, if the back end was saggy, but then if you got deep on it, it started getting heavier with the braking. That would be really nice because then you could like do subtle nose lifts over stuff to sort of de-weight to keep your speed maintain over it. And then it'd be nice if it was heavier on the very, very back end. That way when you're like tail dragging and fish tailing down stuff, it'll do a better job of grabbing you and bringing you back. So that would be nice. And then I am having a little bit of trouble keeping the nose up going through chunk a little bit. It's definitely floating a little bit lower than I would like, but this is all stuff that can be fixed with tuning. You know, I'm not super scared of it anymore. Like I was right out the gate. So that's good, but yeah, there's work to do, but yeah, I think we're getting there. Yeah, sick. let's keep going. Woo, chunk, sleeper. It's chunky out here. Me. That thing rocketed, dude. I can tell it's like, uh, it seems like you start to skirt and you're like, all right, let me get back into it, and then it it's doesn't. Yeah, it's just not there. It, it feels exactly like early GT where you tail drag and it would just start going faster, faster, faster. There was no Let's save in the tail drag. See how they fixed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. That was better. It gets a little a little wonky front to back still. It's not quite as solid under the feet as I would like, but. Oh! Jake's out, Jake's out. Nice, Jake. Jake. Ow! Best technology. Yeah. Hi! My shot was pretty poopish anyway. Oh, choke yeah. 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 We'll count it, we'll count it. I think I figured this out. I think I figured out the tech. If you ride at like 75%, buttery. Once you really start hammering that like 90, 100% really jamming on it, that's where it starts to like fall apart a little bit. Mm. But like 75% flow in these trails, butter, butter. That tail drag. Super soft moon pal, like everywhere. Well, here's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping we're done with all the heavy chunk right now because it has been chunky monkey up there. 
And we picked kind of a gnarly trail to just drop in for like first time gnarly trail ride on Vesk, see if we like it. <laughs> yeah, like what's the craziest trail we could find? So, you know, trial by fire, it's all good. Um, uh, I think we're now officially on incline flume. Nice scenic, we'll have some beautiful birch trees, a nice little view of the lake, drop down on into incline. It should be smooth, should be fun. So let's get it. Let's drop. Yeah. That was fun. It was a good section. It was flowing good. Yeah. It's a good section. Yeah, when it's smooth and flowy and nice and you're riding like mellow and not trying to go absolutely crazy, it's it's pretty buttery. It's fun. Okay. Oh. Got beeline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you good? Yeah. All right, we all good. I see the bottom of the trail. Vesk mission. That was very exciting. Top chunk jumps and stuff. Kind of terrifying. I'm gonna be honest. This thing was loose as a goose, and I got a lot of tail drag, a little bit of nose dipping in. But down in the smooth stuff, the smooth, tight turn stuff, so flowy, so buttery, so good. So I noticed on the box, as long as you lace them like good on the tire, no tail drag, it's all good, super fun, really nice. As soon as you land tail heavy, usually on the one wheels, like Future Motion Firm, where you can land tail heavy, kind of drag the tail for a little bit and then bring it back up out. Not on this thing, it just goes faster and faster and faster when you're dragging the tail until eventually you got to bail. So I'm sure we can. You know, someone smarter than me is gonna tune that out, so I'm not super concerned about it. But I will tell you this, if you'd have told me three weeks ago, like Jeff, you're gonna rip a Vesk as fast as you want on this gnarly trail on flume, incline flume, I'd been like, no, you're tripping, I'm not doing that, that's insane. No way, but I, we did it today and it was fun. And I only ate dirt a few times, so it was chill. Yeah, but if you're not falling, you're not riding. That's a good point, you know, a bale's a clip, that's what they say. That is what they say, so. what do they call it? Scab Squad. Yep. Scab Squad. Scab Squad. Scab Squad. All right. But thanks for joining us, guys. That was fun. Uh, we'll check you on the next one. Float on, my friends. Oh, you guys, this aloe vera is looking real droopy. If you guys have any tips on how to keep this thing live, let me know down in the comments. Uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. It's right here. It's super easy to do. Just click that. It's fine.
and then uh, click the video over here. Watch that one. That's a good video to watch. You'll enjoy it. Trust me. It's a good one. Take my word for it or don't. Whatever. Maybe go outside and go one wheel and that's probably the best idea, honestly. Anyway, vote on my friends.